guys and welcome back to another unfiltered gamer board game review today's game up on the tabletop is called shit happens shit happens is for 18 and up players it takes about two or more players and i prefer more specifically for this game and it plays anywhere from like 20 minutes to an hour depending on how many players you got in the game shit happens it's pretty simple you're gonna get a bunch of cards with a misery score index on them ranging from about zero to a hundred in the game you're gonna be getting three of those cards and you're gonna have a timeline much like the game timeline you're going to then be having players draw cards and then ask players where they think that card specifically goes in their timeline if you get it right that card goes down onto your timeline if you get it wrong it passes to the next player until either somebody gets it right or nobody gets it right then the next player is going to be drawing the card and reading it aloud to everybody else if you can get 10 cards in your timeline before anybody else you're going to win the game shit happens because well shit happens i'll go ahead and show you what it looks like so here we have the game Shit Happens and everything included in it, along with the expansion for Little Shit. So you can, of course, add all the extra cards into this specific stack of cards here. Uh, and on the, on the cards, you're going to see the Misery Index score, along with the title or phrase, and, of course, some type of graphic to illustrate the point. In the game, like I said before, you're going to get three of these cards here. You're going to put them down in a timeline order. I went ahead and done all these for these, this timeline, from 4 to 100, from 5 to 92, and from 36 to 84. And, of course, the rating is going to be based on how how important it is uh, that you're going to find it more miserable or not. So canker sores are pretty bad. However, an arm being amputated is much, much worse. And on a scale of <laughs> 1 to 100, 92 is pretty dang high. And so you're just going to be having players guess whether or not they think the next card is going to go on a timeline. So for instance, if I were to draw a card and ask you in this timeline specifically what they th you thought creepy homeless guy following you home would be at, is it between the 5 and the 61? Is it between 61 92? Over 92 or behind 5. So, guess, okay, if you got it between 5 and 61, you'd be right, that'd be 21.5, and you would get that point. And, of course, it would go on then to the next player drawing a card, maybe it was this player here, and that player would go, okay, you go mute. Where do you think that falls in line from 4 to 100? Go ahead and pick a spot, what do you think? Okay, you thought between... 55 and 100, you would be right with 95.5. The next player, of course, would get a chance to go ahead and read, and it would be for this player here, develop allergy to alcohol. Where do you think that falls in line? Maybe they would think that it falls in line with... Here, 50 to 65. They would be wrong. It's a 42. And so in this instance, the, the player who's reading it would just say you're wrong and not not show the card here, and it pass to the next player, and they would get a chance to go ahead and uh, figure it out. So they would say, okay, how about between 21 and 61? And if they were right, they would go here. If they got it wrong, the reader of the question, which would probably be, be this guy here, would go ahead and say, all right, well, this card's going to get discarded, and now this player would get the chance to start reading to this guy, and so on and so forth. And you're just trying to get your timeline to 10 cards. This this whole stack of cards is going to come with everything you need to play the game, and it comes with over, I think it's like 200 or more cards here, and this is an expansion for about 200 as well. So you have a lot of shit happening all in one condensed little area, and it can play a bunch of players. But anyway, that's the basic idea of the game. It's similar to the game Timeline. Instead of History Facts, you're learning about Misery Index scores. And not only that, but a team of, I guess, psychologists, sociologists, all those kind of people determined this scale based on psychological and physical damage, and determined that these were the numbers that represented uh, the best spots in the timeline here. So let's come up and talk about what I think about Shit Happens and of course the expansion for Shit Happens Little Shits. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the game before we get into the review portion. And I want you to do a little audience participation in this video. That's right, a little audience participation in which you're going to try and guess the number represented on the cards that I'm going to read to you. Go ahead and think of it in your head, what you think the number should be. One through a hundred, and we'll see how close you get to it. At least, let's do four of them, okay? The first one is going to be a wet dream about your dad. What do you think the number is going to be there? Wet dream about your dad. 31? Did you guess 31 out of 100? How about your identity stolen? What do you think for that one? Identity stolen. 66.5. ISIS issues a FATWA, a fatwa on you. What do you think? 94. And pepper spray in your eyes. Pepper spray in your eyes. 26. So as you can see, there's a misery index and it's going to be based off of, of course, other people, which is going to change the way you're going to be playing the game because you're going to think about what they, what maybe a psychologist or somebody like that is going to determine certain things. And because now we're getting into the review portion of it, uh, basically the only thing I have with this game is sometimes I think there's certain things that are way worse than other things and it's way different on the cards. Like for instance, going bald is 70.1 going ball is 70.1 and uh your girlfriend wanting to sleep with your dad is 64.1 
<laughs> and then, of course, your wallet, uh, forgetting your wallet on the first date is 72.1. Pretty sure that going bald, in my opinion, and a girl, my girlfriend sleeping while I sleep with my dad is worse than forgetting a wallet on the first date. I mean, that's pretty bad, pretty traumatizing, but these things appear to be worse to me. There's certain things that are much worse than other things, and that's pretty simple once you go ahead and get to know it. Like, Parasite in Your Brain is an 85.1, whereas something like Walking Barefoot on Gravel is simply a 1.1. I mean, those are pretty obvious. But then when you get to something really, really close, like which one's worse, finding maggots mixed in with your fried rice or your car getting repossessed? Well, you have a 62.1 and a 61.1, and those can get really, really tricky. I play this with a lot of people. This is a great party game. A lot of people enjoy this, and that's because a lot of people also enjoy Timeline. It's a nice little mix away from that, where as opposed to a Timeline, you're learning about history and dates. In this game, you're learning about misery, and everybody loves misery, right? A good nasty uh, news tale or news story gets people really, really thumping, and this, this does that as well. It's super fun. I really enjoy it. I think everybody, whether they agree with all the cards or not on the scale, has a good time with it. And like I said, that's probably my only critique on it, but it's hard to critique something like that because what do, what do I know compared to a psychologist that's gonna say there's certain things worse because it's an emotional aspect in the game as opposed to just physical, or probably for me as a guy specifically, uh, physical is gonna be much worse than the emotional, right? Um, however, that changes from person to person. But overall, shit happens is a lot of fun. I really enjoy this game. It's something that's really simple and once you you see it you're gonna understand how it's played and you're gonna determine if it's something you're gonna want to pick up or not overall though I really enjoy this game I want to play definitely with more than three players that's my another another critique three to about seven players anything more than that gets a little long anything less than that is a little like not enough interaction going on because it's a party game you want to have some fun throw in the drinks remember it's an 18 or older game so it's made for adults you don't want to have your kids playing this game unless they're uh, an adult supervision. I don't know how you run your household. That's that, that's up to you, I suppose. But nevertheless, go ahead, go ahead and check out Shit Happens. And if you enjoy this and you want to check out some more Shit Happens, you can go ahead and check out Shit Happens Little Shits, a little box here that you can play uh, even more additional cards. It contains 100 shitty situations, and this one here is 200. So you get 200 pieces of shit all mixed into one amazing game. So anyway, take a look at Shit Happens in the description below if it's something that you'd be interested in. Personally, I do definitely recommend this game. Wonderful, super fun crazy and a, a, li a little bit risque as well.